Hey guys, welcome back to this another episode and today in this episode we'll be talking about Intel processors and Ryzen processors. So you might be thinking which processor should we go with if we are choosing a laptop or a PC for programming. So before even starting with the topic and getting deep into that, I would like to tell you all that both the processors Intel or Ryzen, both the processors are good competitive processors for programming. So if you are choosing either of them one, you are good on a side. Now getting into the depth and if we get on to talk about the special technicalities or the small technicalities of both the processors. So now. If we talk about Intel processor, it has got better single core speed than the Ryzen processors. If we talk about the latest flagship processors, like for example, if we talk about the Ryzen 5900HX processor versus the Intel Core i9-11900H processor. So now, the Core i9 processor that Intel has delivers 13-15% to 15 faster core speed than the Ryzen 5900HX processor. So now, this can be one thing where Intel can be competing with the Ryzen processors. So coming to the next point, if we talk about some marginal differences between the two processors, the Intel processor by default supports the MKL library, that is the math kernel library. And if you are using Python and inside Python, if you are using libraries like NumPy, Skippy, so these libraries actually need MKL system that is available on the Intel processors. But on Ryzen processors, you will be requiring to install OpenBlast. So these are some minor differences between the Intel and the Ryzen processors and some backwards into the time actually there was issues of virtualization that we continuously use in Android development. So that issue was later rectified by Ryzen processors and now we can easily use virtualization even in AMD Ryzen processors and even Google has provided support for the AMD and Ryzen processors for virtualization and running the emulators. But Considering the two pr processors, both the processors are good enough and if we talk about some marginal difference and if we talk about which processor can be a better processor, I would highly recommend Intel processors. The reason for that, it has a very marginal advantage. The reason for that is because Intel has been developing the processors for more than decades now and they have made the constant improvements and upgrades to their processor to suit the programming environment. Whereas Ryzen processors have just started from 2017 and within a very short period of time we can totally agree to this point that they have actually made the processor really powerful and competitive to Intel processors. But yes there are still some marginal gaps and differences that do not allow the Ryzen processor to be the best and top of the line processor for programming. No doubt you can use that for programming even if you are using any of the Ryzen processor you can actually use them for programming. But but you'll be needing to find some alter ways, some alternative ways or you'll be needing to find some techniques to fix out some little issues and bugs. By the way, that's really very small amount of fractional amount we can say for where the Ryzen processors are lacking for programming. Otherwise, you can be using any of the processors whether it's from Intel or whether it's from Ryzen. But still, if you want to choose between one processor, I would be recommending you the Intel processor. So that's it for the day guys. I hope this topic helped you out and if you have any more such queries do comment that below. I'll be happy to answer them. Meet you into the next episode. Till then, goodbye.